Hey guys, we're back. Um, so, where are we? As you can see, there's been uh, a few changes in the way things are laid out here on the map. And we're gonna, we're gonna go take a look at those in a minute. I'll show you what all I've done and what have you. Um, so first thing we're gonna do though, let's go ahead and, and snag our tech. So, um, here's what I want. I want solar panels because I want to be able to start saving fuel during the day. Um, I want electrical distribution because I want the medium poles. I'm not worried about the large poles yet, but the medium poles uh, provide more coverage per pole, and I, and I really kind of want that. I want circuit network because I want the red and green wires, and I want the switch because I want the ability to start to control things. And uh, we'll get into that. Um... I want thermal water extraction. The reason I want thermal water extraction is because thermal water extraction gives us thermal water. Um, now, it takes some stuff to make it, but thermal water can take the place of the mineral sludge or the mineral um, slurry, I think is what they call it, um, that comes after the slag sludge. You get slag sludge and then you get mineral slurry and then from mineral slurry, you process it into your ores and what have you. This takes out the need to make slag. Um, you skip the entire process of turning slag into slag slurry, um, and you go straight to thermal water. So I want to look at this and see how effective it is. Um, then we want our farming because we want to start looking at that green science, whatever the, um, what do they call it, uh, optimized biome planner. But it's it's murky green science, is the, or dirty green science, whatever. So I, I kind of want that. The other thing I want is Metallurgy 2. Now Metallurgy 2, eh, doesn't get us a whole lot. It gets us better blast furnace and stuff, but you have to have clay bricks for it. But it opens up advanced silicone smelting and advanced silicone smelting will give us silicone ingots and what i have discovered because we're, we're mining or we're making silicone but we're not doing a damn thing with it with the exception of making glass right now we're making glass for the dirty the dirty green science um and i'll show you that in a second why we need that but what i discovered was if we get silicone ingots we can take 24 silicone ingots and 24 iron ingots and it will give us 240 molten iron whereas 12 iron ingots will give us 120 ironing uh, molten iron so we're doubling the amount of molten iron we get we're basically just adding a second material but we're not doing anything with this material right now anyway so why not use it to increase our iron production by double for something that we're just not using right now. So I, I want to head towards that. Um, and it's just one more tech away after that. And then we got some setting up to do, but that's that's minor. So those are the things that I'm after. Um, so let's go ahead and get uh, thermal water extraction. We'll get the three farms to get them started. Um, and then we're going to want, like I say, circuit network, electrical distribution, and our first solar panels. And then when we've done those, we can come back and get this metallurgy too, and then we can pick up um, from there. Now, this is red algae production, which doesn't give us a whole lot right now, I don't think. Um, so we're not going to, we're not going to, well... That's Algae Farm 3. It's more efficient than Algae Farm 2, but we'll get into that too. All right, so there we go. So that's what we're going to do for now, and then we're going to go after metallurgy um, and silicon production afterwards. So let's take a look and see what we got going here. Well, we've got our bus built and uh, moving on down the line. We have our sciences all cooking. I added a couple more... Uh, a couple more labs um, just to kind of speed things along um, I put in one of these groundwater bores um, because we're we're so far from the coast 
we need water here it's going to just give us water from the ground it doesn't give us as much as a pump does but it's there so i put in a tank to keep the tank full all the time uh and then we're going into a boiler because we need steam to make uh our our carbon from our from our charcoal so then since i've already got the charcoal here we're just feeding the boiler with it and making the making the carbon and then that's and so on and so forth making the resistors blah 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 i've got a chest here because i want to be able to steal some green circuits without having to steal them all off of the bus so i want some ready that i can come over here at any time and pick up green circuits so there you go now up here Everybody who plays Factorio just about will tell you at one time or another, oh, don't buffer, don't buffer, don't buffer. Um, I'm buffering, but I'm not buffering to buffer materials. I am buffering to buffer time. And what I mean by that is this. Over here, we are making silicone, and we are making nickel. And right now... I don't have anything that I'm doing with it so I could destroy it and that would be a waste or it would build up and shut everything down I don't want that so I'm just putting it in warehouses to buffer time until I get back to this and then I'll have it and I'll have it without wasting it so since I was doing that anyway I just went ahead and did it for each of them just because I can turn around later and use my red and green circuits to sense off of these or whatever. You know, we'll figure out something. So, there's that. Now, here's one of our iron uh, inputs. It's an iron and copper input together. So, I am using splitters to kind of filter it to just add it in. We'll go over and I'll show you what this is. This is kind of one of our waste products that as it once in a blue moon processes one it'll send a couple of plates over. Um, better to have and not need than need and not have. And God knows right now we just plain need. Um, so we got our standard Factorio spaghetti because they're all coming over here. And over here, if you guys will remember, I had each of my products as an individual little cell set up to produce. Um, all of the slurry stuff and everything else was in each individual one. Well, what I've done instead is to kind of break this out so that I can expand. I have room down here to add more of this. I have room off here, excuse me, to the left to add more of this. And in fact, what we've done is we've added a second blast furnace. Because we've, I've been able to up my production over here enough that one blast furnace was not enough. It wasn't keeping up. This was getting backed up. Now, two blast furnaces is too many. But in this case, I'd rather have too many than too few. It's not going to back up. And then I've got my copper over here. We're making iron two to one copper. We're, we're doing the two to one iron favorite formula. Favored. Favored. Um, and then, of course, we're making our lead, we're making our tin, blah, blah, blah. Everything, you know, has a waste product. It's all coming out, and it's being sent up here. Our uh, crushed stone is being turned back into stone stone. Stone stone is going over to a warehouse because we've been using it for various things. And then our, our slag that comes out of our process is getting cycled back through and cycled back through. Uh, into our uh, in our process so we're, we're doing all right there um, it has not backed up we're, we're doing pretty good I've kind of prioritized the inserters so that it so that it sends it through um, then we've got you know our sulfuric uh, sulfur dioxide gas is making sulfuric acid sulfuric acid is making slag slurry slag slurry is being converted into mineral sludge Right, um, and then mineral sludge being, you know, our waste products are being taken care of and it's being sent over here. And because of doing it this way, even though I'm still got four slag slurry things going, I was add to, able to add two more uh, mineral slurry makers. 
and then I was able to add a whole bunch more crystallizers to the system and, and kind of, you know, make things more efficient, which is why I'm making more iron than what I was. And like I say, we can expand this as needed. Now, what I did for this is because these require these filters, these charcoal filters, you get the frame back, you just have to put charcoal in. So we get charcoal coming in, the spent filters are going to the two machines, they're making more, more charcoal filters. I don't need a loop on this because they're going back to the factory and being passed out the other side. I looped this so that there's always filters available for all of these machines. And then I just, I kind of add it, I didn't, I don't have a count on how many's on here, but I just continually add it until it was reasonably full, but not so full that it backs these machines up. Because if you back these machines up, this backs up, these guys can't produce. So it's a balancing act. If I put too many, it's gonna, it's gonna back all of this up. If I put too few, then they're waiting. So I just kind of played around with it, added some, took some away until it was it was kind of balanced, and I wanted them spread out as best I could on the on the belt so that it, it kept going. So there's that. Now, up here, if we look, um, even with being more production, we still are only really using two belts of slag. Now each of these little electrolyzer units that I set up produces two belts of slag. Um, we've got two of them now, so we got a total of, of four columns of electrolyzers, but I look at them as two units, this unit and this unit, because of the way around the pipes and stuff. So we've added the second one, but we don't need it for our mineral production. We could, so we could turn around and we could actually double what we have here. Um, but what I've done instead is I'm using the second one over here for a plant. Now I've left room, we can put another one in. So technically I could take one of these and put another one here and boot two here and one here and we'd still be good to go. Um, here is our fuel making. So now as you can see we have algae farm twos and when I did algae farm twos it increased my need for mineralized water to the point where one of these was not enough for both of them so I added one to each side one feeds one one feeds the other they're interconnected to kind of balance things out um, but now everything is is algae farm twos which increased my charcoal production so if you'll remember there was only this path before it was a straight line but it was basically this path I've now added a second one um, to keep up with all of that and they're cooking right along and I have plenty 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 of fuel to feed everything I need now what I did is if you'll notice you can see these are these are those white belts at this point right here I've changed over to yellow belts because I've got four of these coming into two of these I wanted to feed these as much as I could so I've got four of these coming into two so I put in a balancer the balancer is all yellow belts yellow belts are expensive so I didn't go all the way back because I don't need to I got four into the two and I'm fine so we go over here and everything that goes to the power plant has been prioritized with these yellow uh, belts yellow splitters yellow undergrounds what have you once it goes past here, this is all back to, to white uh, belts, but this is all yellow belts because I want it to send as much through to the power plant as possible. The other thing I've done is these are all boiler twos and steam engine twos now in this first engine unit. They will give me considerably more capacity um, than having the, the, the boiler ones and steam engine ones. Um, of course, at a cost of more fuel. So the reason I want the yellow and green wires and the switches and stuff, I want to be able to regulate this, that this is at maximum uh, usage and that this is kind of the backup and it turns on and off as needed. But I need the yellow and the green wires to be able to do that um, and, and to configure that properly. The other thing, in the past I've done it 
you saw me do it with with SpaceX and things like that um, but you need uh, you need the accumulators to do it that way we are so far from accumulators it's not funny um, we we're not even near batteries yet so I'm gonna have to see if I can figure out another way but we'll see so then since I moved this bootstrap stuff over here we went ahead and fueled up our uh, our furnaces and stuff we still got all our brown algae which we are going to start to use up now um, and then of course you know our mud production to make our sand and we're you know still making land um, for the time being so there it is that is what we've got going now while we are up here one of the things that I want to do is these two guys here because when I expanded I expanded to the as far as I could and what ha what happens is as I walk by these guys spit they damage the pipes and they got to be fixed they're, they're leaving the plant alone but me walking by pisses them off so we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna do it using my bots so that I'm not having to try and uh, lay land at the same time I'm being spit at and what have you I can turn my bots on I can grab my fish I can have these guys come up here and we'll run by real quick and get started on, on running this out to where I can now turn my bots off and go kill these guys. Alright, there we go. They are dead. Now, let's go over here. You can't really see it right now, but anybody oops we still got one that we got to go anybody that remembers the old game remembers that we used to get stuff from these guys and we used to get stuff from the nests well you can't see it right now because these guys are, are in the way but they will eventually disappear and you'll be able to see it laying on the ground but look what we got here alien artifacts so apparently you now get alien artifacts again so we got four alien artifacts from these guys and and they are apparently used at some point so there we go we'll never have to fix that again hopefully that's taken care of now there is another one of these bastards on the other side of the island and we're gonna go take care of him too and then once we're done taking care of those guys we're going to get into the ugly brown green science And we're gonna start seeing what we can do with that but as you can see on the map there's one guy right here we're gonna go take care of him because every time I walk by he spits at me too and I am NOT a fan of being spit at now that's not to say spitters are bad. I just don't want to be spit at. So, let us go kill this guy. Now, unfortunately, I don't have our armor piercing rounds. I can make them. I have the ability to make them. I just haven't made them. So that gave us one more. Big whoopty. Alright, but now we got another alien artifact. Alright, so now the next thing we're going to do is right up here is an island with a bunch of gardens. And we're gonna go get those gardens. So we're going to go up here, kill these guys, come across to this island, and then straight up. Um, because we want those gardens. We, want, we need those gardens to do our dirty green science. Because they give us little alien, look like pills, that we need to make um, our science packs. And 
you can, in theory, make the gardens from what I've been looking at. But we will look at the numbers for that once we get up here. Or once we get done up here. And it is not a pretty conversion process. Um, it is unlikely, I guess, would be a good term that you are going to get an alien garden utilizing the conversion process. So... We have to go just get them. Because making them is nigh on statistically impossible. I won't say it's completely impossible, but it is certainly statistically impossible. There we go. Now we should be able to walk over here. Pick up whatever little alien boogers that we can find. How are we doing? Um, okay, we got ten now. Not a lot, but hey, you know what? Every little bit helps. Need and, ha need and not have versus have and not need. Right? Um, now, I could save bots and do this with the bot and, and do this by hand. But I'm being lazy. And since we can make the bots now, I don't have a, a major issue with being a little lazy sometimes. Plus, by doing it this way, I don't screw up my spacing. All right, there we go. Now we're up here. So now we have we have a swamp garden. We have three temperate gardens, four or five temperate gardens, and a desert garden. So these ones are different than these ones, I guess. Looks like they give the same thing. I don't see any changes between the two. It's just two different looking ones. All right, so we're going to pick these up, and we have the, the chance of getting some of those other items as well as the garden. So we'll see what we get. So sometimes we're getting stuff and sometimes we're getting just the garden. So we got, you know, we got one, uh, we got five temperate gardens, one swamp garden, one desert garden, and then we got Wheaton, we got Tan Tanathan, Ochre Gnome, uh, Benefran, I don't know how they came up with these, these words. That one looks like a squash. This one looks like a pumpkin. Of course, this one, they call it a zealous squash. But this, that looks, tell me that don't look like a pumpkin and that looks like a squash of some kind. So anyway, so now we got them. Now, there's another one up there. But that's a big poison worm, a medium worm, and a medium worm. And then God knows what is up here. I don't have the firepower for them yet. And then down here, this is all medium worms. Yeah, th see, this is all... This is where turrets are going to come in, guys. We're, and we don't have the turrets right now. Um, we may at some point go after these ones over here. Because that's a small worm. That's a small worm. We can come over and come up and grab that one. Now, I don't know the difference between that and these puffer nests yet. I know we don't need the puffer nests right now. We just want the gardens. So we came, we got what we came for. Let's go back down to our factory and we'll look at what we can do with them. So if we come down here, 
Now I have, we're going to try and keep away from the noise as much as possible. I've already brought some stuff up here. So I already had some of these other seeds and some of these other gardens. Um, I also have already made a seed extractor, a composter, a bioprocessor, and an arboretum. I already made them. They were just easy to make. Now the arboretum, in order to make it, where is it? It is here. You need to have glass, right? So that's why I was saying we, the only thing right now that I'm making using silicone for is glass. Because if we do this, we give it some fuel, we take some silicone ore in here, it will start cooking. And it takes a little while to process it. And I think it's six per. So there you go. Um, it looks like it's more than six per, apparently. All right, so that gives us glass, right? And from the glass, we're able to make these arboretums. You need steel, you need electronics, you need stone, blah, blah, blah. But you need glass. So I had to figure out how to make glass, and you make glass from the silicone. So right now, that's the only thing we're really using silicone for. So let's put these puppies all down and see what we can do with them. Because this is all semi-new tech to me. Not completely new, but it is semi-new tech. So we got to power them. And the reason I say it's not completely new, I, I played a little bit of C block before, but it's been several years. Um, plus, I kind of looked at these things before we started this episode, um, just to see. Now, the other thing you'll notice, I have pin borer saw blades, and these are pretty easy to make. They're just one iron plate that turns it into a saw blade. Um, and you can make them in anything. Um, you can make them in hand, or you can make them in a factory, what have you, blah, blah, blah. All right, so now, let's look at what these can do. So this one gives you trees we can make trees but in order to make trees we need soil we need tree seeds and we need water right so let's hook some water up to this and we're just going to tap into our water we'll take this back out later but there we go um we have our water hooked up now we just need we need tree seeds and we'll turn this it's the only recipe we can do in this thing right the only recipe we have so far is tree seeds or trees so we we got our water we need tree seeds and we need soil so we kind of going as far as we can with that one for right now this is a composter and a composter will take any organic material and turn it into compost so if we take brown algae for instance which we have an abundance of that we really can't use this is all the stuff you can put in it looks like pretty much all of the organic material will turn into compost so if you're making excess of something here's a way to get rid of it even compost will make compost apparently so we put it in there it's going to start making compost we'll let that cook we'll come back to it this one no recipes available so we haven't gotten the tech yet apparently to do this bioprocessor yet so it turns harvested plants into organic intermediate products I don't know what intermediate products. We have not researched that yet. Then we have um, the, the uh, seed extractor. Now this is where our choices get a little bit interesting. Um, we can do a tempered garden will give us 32 plant life samples. The little p green pill things. But that's all it will give us. Same thing with our swamp garden. Same thing with our desert garden. So we put it in there. We lose the entire thing. 
to 32 alien plant life samples. The other option is it takes a garden, we get half as many plant life samples, and then we have percentage chances of getting wheat and seed, tent and seed, all these other things as seeds. But you notice none of those percentages is over 40%. So it's very low percentages that you're going to get for every one of those that you put in there. You may or may not get it. So you're better off finding a different way to make those seeds. And there are ways. Um, and that's why we did the, the, the research on farming. Um, because we're going to find those better ways. And I just realized something. We're stuck here because these need the other thing that we're, we're not doing yet. So let's, let's, let's get rid of those. We'll put that in as our next one. And then we'll put our farming back in. Because farming is stalled right now. It has stalled all of our research right now. Um, we're not we're not doing those because we can't. So we've not been making any progress on these. I just realized that. Okay, and the reason I realized that is because of these alien plant life samples. Now, so there's the problem there, right? Now, if we go up here and we look at um, garden, right, and these are all kind of the same as far as making them. Crafting these. In order to craft these, you need one sample of plant life, or one alien plant life sample, which you get 32 per garden, right? You need cellulose pulp, which is easy to make. You need mineralized wood, which is easy to make. But look at the percentage. It's 1% chance to get one of these. Now, in theory, that means a hundred attempts will get you one, but it's but but it's not. It's only one percent each time, so it's not really a hundred percent. It's just a one percent each time, and you do it a hundred times. You know, one of those is maybe will get you one for every plant life sample you get. But keep it, But remember, when you do a garden, you only get thirty-two. So it takes four gardens to get a chance to make one garden, right? Now, if we had alienated fertilizer and 30 plant life samples, we would get two desert gardens. But, so for one, we'd get two if we had alienated fertilizer. But we don't have alienated fertilizer yet. And alienated fertilizer takes alien goo, and alien goo is uh, not easy to make, and blah, blah, blah. We don't have the tech. So bottom line is, right now, we're not making gardens, because we just can't. Luckily, there's a fair number of them out here. We just have to go out and kill things to get to them. So... Eventually, we'll get to that process and we'll be able to do it. Right now, we're going to concentrate on using the gardens to get the maximum number of plant life samples. And we're going to try and use whatever we have the most of. So we have 26 desert gardens. We have 13 temperate gardens and 7 swamp gardens. So for right now, we're going to use the desert gardens to get our plant samples. So Desert Garden, and we're gonna select the 32 option, which is gonna give us just the samples. So we're gonna take the Desert Garden and put it in there. Now watch how slow this moves. It's gonna take a while, okay? So we're, we're kinda screwed on that for right now, right? So let's go back over here. Oh, you know what? There is one thing I need, and it is down here. Early on, on some of the islands, that we, when we expanded, we ended up getting some wood. 
Thank you, Giddy. Um, we need the wood. Okay. See, like I said, we have more plants. Um, we have some of the seeds already. So, puffer egg, and then the alien artifacts, we got some that we picked. Up. When we cleared some of those smaller islands, we got some of that stuff. So, we're already getting the seeds, all right? So, the farming that we're, we're trying to get is going to give us a way to grow those seeds without having to use a garden to do it. Now, I'm assuming that the reason for that other... Uh, recipe is to get your initial seed um, we've been lucky that we've gotten a lot of these plants already so, so that we can potentially make some seeds so we're gonna go from there all right now what do we need to make this we need two things we need a tree seed and we need soil okay now we made a buttload of compost so let's see what we need to make soil Soil takes mud, which we're making tons of mud to make land, and it takes compost. Well, now we've got both of those. We've got mud. I brought some over with us, and we got compost. And we can make them in hand, or we can make them in a factory, right? So we're going to dump that in there, and we're going to dump... Let's do half, just to be safe. We may need some of these for another process. All right, so that's going to do that. Then we need the tree seed, right? That's that's the two things we need. We need tree seed and we need soil. We're making soil. Now we need the tree seed. And the tree seed needs soil and water, right? So we are making the soil. And we're going to put down another factory. And we're going to have this factory. Oh, wait. What is tree seed made in? Oh, it's made in a, in a, in a seed generator. All right. So. When we went out to those islands, we got trees. So now we can take and we can make... A seed gener a, a tree seed generator because we have the tree that it needs it needs one tree of each type in order to make one of these so we're gonna make one of those one of those one of those and three so now we got um, one, two, three, right? And we need power for those two. Now they're all powered. Now to make a tempered tree seed, right? Which apparently all they make, at least right now, is just tree seed, period. All right? Needs water and soil. That's all it needs. And it will make a seed. So if we go to there. And we're going to go up and we're going to pick off of the water that we're already using for our arboretum. Right? Now we have the water. So now we can say, make a seed, make a seed, make a seed. Now I'm assuming later on. We will get other recipes besides just tree seed. All right. So now we have to put soil into each of these. And each one requires five soil to make one seed. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right. And again, this is a pretty slow process. This guy's still cooking. He's only at 77%. He's still cooking. But now you got the little green light on and everything says it's fine and we're happy. We're just waiting on these to make seeds. Meanwhile, this is making soil. So we can take our soil. Right? So now this is going to need what? It's going to need a tree seed. 
it's going to need soil. So one, two, three, four, five, right? And there's our, so our tree seed that one of these is going to make us a, a tree seed. So now from that process, you get four tree seeds, right? And we only need one, or we need two to make a tree, right? And we're gonna get four trees out of that. So if we take our tree seeds, one, two, now we gotta let our tree grow, right? In our alien whatever. Is this done? These are done. And and we could we could then turn around and put more dirt in here and get another four tree seeds, right? And just keep doing that. These don't seem to run out. You just got to keep putting dirt in them. All right, this is finally finished. So we got our 32 alien plant life samples. So we're done making dirt for right now. We're done with this guy for right now. This guy, we're not going to do... Well, we could put another desert in there and let that... Excuse me. Continue to cook. Because we are going to need... Uh, let's do this. Let's put one in. One out. And we're going to put Desert Guard. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. We don't want to waste... We want to keep as many of those as we can. So we'll just let that continue to run. And we're going to harvest um, the, the, bio, the little alien capsule things from it. All right. So that's done. We got four more seeds, blah, blah, blah. We can keep doing this ad nauseum with these guys. We're not going to here. We're going to set up a production for it. But now you can see we can make seeds. And then we throw our seeds into here along with, what was it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. And it's making trees, right? So we could set that up to continue to make trees. Now, what are we going to do with these trees? Now we have trees. Big deal. If we take a factory and we put a factory down and we tell it to make wood. Why is it not? Oh, because we're trying to do it by hand. If we tell the factory to make wood, right? It's going to give us the following. It's going to give us six to eight pieces of wood. And 90% of the time, it will give us our saw back. So we're going to lose saws over time. Stalls are easy to make. They're just one one iron plate. But if we put in our ten saws, and we put in our four trees, let's see what we end up with out of this. Right. So we ended up with four trees, gives us 26 pieces of wood. And again, it's random because it's six to eight. And we lost one saw blade. Okay, we can live with that. Now we got another tree. Put the other tree in there. So... Now we're down by another saw blade, and so on and so forth. So you see how we're making wood, right? Well, big deal. What's that? What's that? What's all that going to do for us? Well, there we go. We can take that back out. We can actually take all of that out and save some pipe. So now, what's that going to do for us? Well, now we can go over here and we look at our our science and we can take and go back from that and we need a liquefier 
Do we not have a liquefier with us? We don't. Alright. Run down here, get a liquefier. Liquefier. I know I have one. Liquefier. Alright. Hopefully that's everything I need. Yeah, we just need... And it can be done apparently in a liquefier or a chem plant. Okay. Seems like the liquefiers and the chem plants are pretty interchangeable with the exception of the fact that the chem plant has two inputs and, an out and two outputs and the liquefier has one in and one out for liquids or gases. All right, so let us grab our liquefier. What do we do with it? And we'll put that down. And we'll tell that to make the seedling nest. Uh, it was too soon on the water, I guess. Oh, well. That's okay. So we need to make... seedling nest and a seedling nest is going to take a soil or it's going to take one soil and two composts right so so basically we're gardening compost and the soil is going to give us a seedling nest right now that seedling nest uh let's make ourselves some room Alright, so now we need protective scaffolding, which takes paper and wood. So that's the first use of that wood that we're gonna get. We're gonna be we're gonna be using that wood. So let's take and make oh let's say five perspective scaffolding. Now it's gonna go through the whole process because I didn't I didn't make the paper and I didn't bring paper with us. Um and I should have because then we could have we could have done that. But, but we know how to make this process because this is the same process for making the, the wooden boards for our circuits, for our basic circuits. So we, we've already got this process down. And that's going to give us these protective scaffoldings. So it's just a matter of automating the process. So then we're going to take the protective scaffolding that we made and we're going to take the seedling nest that we made and we're going to make a ground sample and it's just combining the two. Then that ground sample along with the alien plant life sample is going to give us one science pack, right? One science pack. And for these guys, we need 32 for each one, right? In order to be able to do this farm. So each of these deserts is going to give us 32. So for one desert, we're going to be able to make one of these. So we need one, two, three of them to make these guys, to make this, to make enough science packs to do the initial research on these guys. So, you can see that this is going to be a little bit of a process. Um, we're going to have to make a bunch of soil. We're going to have to make a bunch of compost. Um, but, it is doable. Right? So... That's as simple as doing that. Um, and putting those into it, right? 
that's going to give us our compost and then and our dirt is going to be our compost and our mud so then we take a factory right put our compost in there we're gonna have to do one for our mud out a all that to make dirt put a bunch of mud in it so then that's going to make our dirt right that's going to give us our dirt part of it which is going to give us our seedling nest because then we're going to take the compost and we're going to take the dirt and we're going to take the water and we're going to put them into this in one out power and this is dirt and compost so dirt and compost and then that should give us oh had them the wrong way right so then that's going to give us our seedling nests and then meanwhile, we got to go back and we got to make paper and wood, which we're already making paper. So all we really need to do for paper, paper, it's paper. Anybody else see Water World? All right, so now we just got to make a bunch of paper right and take the paper and the wood and make scaffolding so into Kazada. We do a pile of wood and a little bit of paper we have. Tell it to make scaffolding. Next we have to take that and make a seedling nest and, and the seedling nest and make our ground sample. Right? So another one. Because then goes out, round sample, right? So then we take our protective scaffolding, we take our seedling nest, we throw those two in there. That's going to give us our ground sample. And then one more. into Gazara science Ta -da, there we go that's how you make science so we just have to automate this and set it up right um, and that is what will give us our green science that we can start doing the farming. And then once we get to the farms, that will allow us to start making those seeds. Oh, why is it not? Usage. It's not telling us what it's going to make. Okay. But we can reverse engineer this we can look at the seeds and like for instance uh, a wheat and seed crafted you can make it with the tempered garden which we decided is kind of expensive um, or you can make it with wheaten and wheaten is grown in tempered farming right 
So then you take the Wheaton, the Pampered Farming, you put it in the seed extractor, and you get your seeds. And then you can just grow more. Now the Wheaton itself, um, is used for several different things. Corn, for one. Um, some of these other seeds will give you give you other stuff. So that's kind of the the tunnel we're going to go down, or the the rabbit hole we're going to go down at some point is we are going to attempt to you know create these seeds and stuff and and the stuff that it makes but we have to get this process started first so that we can start getting more uh of our um science right so we don't have paper right now so we're we're kind of out of the paper We'll just have to go down and get paper. But this is what we're going to automate. I'm going to figure out a place to do it and uh, figure out how to get it all set up. And that's going to be the next episode is we're going to start going down that rabbit hole. And that's going to get us these farming. Um, so what else are we going to take for tech at this point? Now, there are some things which require both the, the Atma science and the green science. Um, and this is going to give us these weird puff balls, which I'm not sure what we use those for, but I do know that they are out there on the islands and I have harvested some, but I think for right now, we're just going to explore this part of it and get that far. And then we'll follow down that, that whole rabbit hole later. But in the meantime, we are going to stick to the one that is easy to make, which is this Atmos, which honestly covers a huge swath of the tech tree okay and we're gonna, just going to work our way through that so what are we going to take for tech um that's nickel um it's going to give us the nickel smelting we can start we can start uh smelting the nickel that we're making i don't know what we're going to do with it but it would make less room to to do it but we'll see um this is Pre-processing ore. I don't know what that does. We'll have to look into that. Um, this looks like a more effective electrolyzing ability. Um, gives us, what's it give us? It gives us oxygen and hydrogen at larger quantities. Um, does not look like it really gives us Oh, this gives us one slag for one electrode. That's not, I don't know that that's really gaining us anything. It's more hydrogen and oxygen maybe, but we're not really needing it right now. Does it maybe, maybe changes the amount of time? Maybe it takes less time. I don't know. But I don't know that that's helpful. Heat pipes. Um, we're not anywhere near nuclear power yet. Now, it might be good for these guys, but, but it's certainly not. I mean, we're not anywhere near nuclear power yet. Um, this would give us the ability to uh, go straight from wood wood blocks to wood boards which, um, or actually, no. Apparently, it looks like it wood to wood boards rather than having to process through the brown algae and the green algae and stuff. But we're okay on that right now, I think. Um, steel filtering furnace. We don't need to filter anything in the furnace right now. Inserted capacity bonus might be nice. Red... Uh, belts are bronze plates and stuff. We're not we're not the bronze yet. Would a car be nice? Maybe a car would be nice, but I don't I don't know that it would necessarily something. I mean, our island's not that big yet, so we don't need the trains. We don't need the cars. 
uh, metallurgy we're, we're taking. Tool belt, yeah, it would be nice, maybe. Um, I don't... I don't know if we can make grenades yet. Can we make grenades? Oh, shit. We can make grenades now, guys. I didn't even realize we could make grenades. Because I'm not even paying any attention to that. Uh, projectile damage might be useful if we have to start going out after those biters. Cooling effects gives us purified water from steam. And it gives us a cooling tower. Fermentation starts to give us alcohol. Hatchery gives us the puff bugs. But it requires all three sciences. Oh. Duh. I know which one we're taking. It was the one I said we're taking. Silicone smelting. We're going to do silicone smelting so we can start increasing our iron. I'm stupid. All right, so there it is, guys. That's our techs. I'm going to work on, on making this into a little factory process so that we can really kind of start pumping out these sciences because obviously we need at least 96 of them. Um, and it's going to take us a little while to get there. So we need to start making all of this stuff. The, the holdup right now basically is paper. So there it is, guys. I'm going to automate this. When we come back, this should be set up. We should start to see um, those sciences tick off. All right. You guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.